I came here to do dental work because, first, because I can't have um, cataract surgery uh, within 14 days of dental. So because of the emergency need of my dental, I did that first. It took away so much stress, but the fact that I couldn't uh, have visual acuity while I was here, Victor, who is the host at this beautiful guest house, and who um, just gave me a beautiful, beautiful room, the most beautiful room with a big spa shower and, and, uh, and bath, it just made my stay luxury. But the fact that I couldn't see, he was always there for me. His household team, his maid, housekeeper, everybody helped me. The clinic, they all helped me to walk to the places, over the curbs and places I couldn't see. So that um, enriched my experience to know I was in good hands. I received a, a new family who, who cares about my dental needs, who we nurture each other and we are empathic to each other's needs. We are now family, all of us but most importantly, the professional skill of the dentist and the techniques that you've brought to the um, situation uh, keep everything beyond anything uh, I was able to experience to, as a whole, as a whole. Because sometimes you get a piece here and a piece here and a piece here in the United States, but you don't get the, um, the, uh, the, the material that he uses that you brought to the scene. Um, this will be permanent. I, I'm, I'm embracing something that I cannot believe, but the price, I'm, I'm shocked. The price was so fair. It's one third, less than one third of the United States, but it's non-toxic. It met all my needs. I'm very, very important for me to have pure, whole, healthy, non-toxic materials, and that's been top shelf. I had a wonderful driver that Victor arranged who took on a personal relationship and stayed with me through uh, waiting an hour at the bus station or more and making sure I got home, taking me to an upscale uh, grocery store that had everything from America, health food, fresh bread. Um, my first experience here was glorious and only because of the caring nature of the team that Victor has put into um, just making work, the working team that works together. The driver, as well as the housekeeping, and the home, and the experience, primarily the dental clinic, being so excellent. My needs were made beyond any other because I'm single, I was alone, I didn't have a partner to do things with. Other guests have husbands and they are able to, but Victor had all this extra burden on him of helping me see, of helping me go to the dentist, but it turned out that we're all blessed by the um, nature of the, the good, the spirit of the people that we've embraced to join our team. I reflect upon my experience here. I think of all the love and, the, and how they embraced the truth, um, which has set us free from worry. The truth is that they use the best materials. They don't tell you they do, but they do. The reality is they tell you the truth. What you see, they tell you. What you see is what you get. And so as I, as I look back, I see that I, I paid so very little. I got such a rich experience. And I believe where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, and I will treasure always this experience for many reasons, for the kindness of this group. I've seen dentists in France when I lived in France, and um, it's, it's hard to believe that in this world, at the place we're at, that people are willing to be caring and, and have the, the combination of caring and excellent skills and the best materials available anywhere, all combined in one. And if you're coming for an experience to have the best dental, because I think everything else we do is uh, surrounding. They say the colon, the health of your colon determines the health of the body, but the health of your mouth determines the health of your breathing, your respiratory, your eyes, your ears, everything that you need, your brain. It's all so important. So we must consider first the hygiene of our, of our oral um, mouth. For the last 37 years, I've helped people from Palm Beach, Fourth Avenue, um, to, to uh, anywhere in the world that I've gone, I've embraced and shared my knowledge with people. So it's very important that I receive, when I'm in need also, the very best care and the best materials. I mean, that's the most important thing, that we can only take people as far as we've come ourselves. We can't go, take people any further than what we know. 
So if we're in health, which is a temple, <laughs> our body is our temple. So if we're in health, then we can bring that to others and we can bring a joyous experience. My goal has been, before I arrived, and then during and after, my goal has been to take care of the needs that were neglected for so long that many of us pretend that we don't have to do because it's not that important. And yet, there's nothing more important than the hygiene of our mouth. If we want our brain and our ears and our eyes and our breathing, which are attacked through the environment, to function properly. We can't be our best whether unless we take care of our dental needs. And that's what I finally recognized and I came here to do. And I'm leaving completely satisfied. And I still have to come back and get my future work done. But the people I've met here as guests at your um, guest house were lovely. They were lovely and they were kind. And they were all different because it's a very heterogeneous group of, of um, ages. And as an older person, almost 70 years old, I um, embraced the young people with warmth, and they too. And they were all just part of a big family that we've established a bond. So that too brought a lot of satisfaction through the uh, experience. And we have to take this like you would any, <clears throat> anything we do in a relationship is like a little marriage. It's always a relationship. And there's always going to be challenges. And we have to embrace it as we would our own family and just realize this is reality and we have to fit into a team and in, in an environment of, of where you live you have to um, be happy that those people have been brought into your life because we have been given a gift of people and these are I mean I don't compare to the Twilight Zone where people just blended because they were brought together in one place but we have been brought together in one place people we might not have picked or chosen and yet we have the privilege of learning their heart and, and, and helping them grow and, and, tr and stretching ourselves through the challenges and our own weaknesses and learning from, from our mistakes. So it's just like any experience where you would, um, you would want to do your best and be your best for others. And when you're, the way I've healed is so quick, the dentist said this morning that my healing took place very quickly. So, um, and I've recommended certain things from other uh, doctors that provide things like washes for the mouth and just uh, things you can do beyond the dental experience on your own. Other people's testimonies of how they survived through terrible illnesses and mistakes and believing in the system. The system had done things to people that um, had weakened them. And seeing all the people I love um, going through trying to be the very, have, have their health at the top level and learning that in order to have your health on the top level, you have to make conscious decisions to be aware and find out the truth. Is this fact or fiction? Find out what is the reality of, of, these, of what we've chosen to do through dentists in the past as, as children or that our parents didn't know any better. And so learning that there were mistakes made that we have to suffer the consequences of, or we can remedy these and, and choose to be healthy. We can choose to um, live longer and a quality of life that is required because of the way the, the future could be. You have a choice, you're always at a crossroad, and we have to make decisions daily that affect our future. They will affect our, our body, our mind, and our spirit. And um, past mistakes that were made because of uh, perhaps a, a culture that is based on things that we wouldn't choose right now as our priority, um, we can fix and we have to choose to, which is the healthy road to take and this is the right road. And knowing it now that it's been done properly changes everything. And there's, there's a continuum, we have to continue to, it's not all done in one step, but we have to, uh, once we do it, oh, we will be on a different, a different level, a different level. Our whole, our whole life will, we can, we know we've done the right thing for those that we care about and for ourselves. That's, we have to make that decision individually now so the future will be healthier. That's our choice. I can't wait to come back and have it finished after I have my eye surgery because now I have to see so my 
um, my life would be <laughs> transformed in that area, and then I will finish my um, dental. But once I finish the dental, oh, I'll be able to be, I'll be able to experience uh, the joy of eating in a way I never have before in many, many years because I've, I've just done the right thing, and I have to know it's sound. It's he's a dentist said it will last many, many years. So you can choose whatever path you want, but without the right materials. It's just like eating the wrong food. You cannot experience the essence, the apex of health, without the highest quality of materials. And uh, you get what you pay for. But this is a shock that you pay so little compared to the United States. So you pay an airplane ticket, you come here, you have the best of the best, and then you are free. You're free to enjoy your life more. The first thing that impressed me was Victor said, I'm going to get a juicer. And he was like a child on Christmas. He was going to get something that would contribute to our well-being. He did it for us. He went out and he bought a juicer. So the kitchen, we can make apple juice, we can make carrot beet juice. There are many organic vegetables available. Not everything, but many. And he made sure that we got them and everything we needed. And he, he catered to my needs. and. Uh, my needs were many compared to your average person <laughs> because not only am I alone here, <laughs> but I'm also um, not being able to see very well with my cataract need and not met yet until after my dental work. So, oh my gosh, it, it just, everything's here. Everything you would want at home is here. And who would do this? Who would care? This is a very above and beyond experience in every area. What you pay is just so minimal. And it's almost nothing. <laughs> it's less than a cost of a week's groceries and, and wow. a down payment. Yeah. And the ultimate, and a couple thousand dollars for me, that's nothing for what it's going to cost to, what it's going to enrich my life to be able to enjoy food again the way I want to without any, <laughs> any cracked teeth or any... Uh, and there's so many ways to, to approach it. He will let you make your decision. You decide, and you should decide, not expect him to decide. He will tell you your options, and then you decide what is the best road for you through all the different ways that he can uh, fix your, your dental needs. It's just like going to a really upscale, very expensive Boca Raton Palm Beach Clinic. The office is uh, luxury. The building is one of the kind that you would see in the biggest Chicago or, or um, Florida or any big city where you have luxury building. But the cleanliness of the clinic, the, the, the sanitariness of everything. Everything is clean and the people are clean and the clinic is clean. And if you have any question, well, what's it like there? Is it clean? To me, that's very important. And it was beyond anything I could imagine. It was so clean from the restroom to the way they all dress, to the floors, but the dental instruments you knew were clean. I, I had no um, experience of anything but positive results, results. And I was in Panama for um, over a year. I'm a resident now. And it's different because um, it's more of an American culture and it's more like America with the quality of uh, f food and um, but we have treasures there too. But the people here are more than, in our circle that we're here for are, are extremely, um, they're just, just giving, so giving, so genuine. And the dentist is just such a sweet man. And Victor chose him out of a group of many, many people he could have chosen because he embraced the heart of this man. Dr. Gould, Dr. Vargas, and his uh, other dentist in there. Um, and the, and the young women who work there in training as dentists, um, they're, they're just top-notch in every way. Oh, it's going to be easy. I can see. I can walk to the clinic. I will be able, I know where I am. I can explore the area. I can have fun. And all those who can see well will, will just love it. The architecture, the quality, the restaurants. Yes, it's very expensive, but it's the same as Boca Raton. It's where I'm, where I'm brought up. Um, it, it just, uh, it's life in America. So what you pay there, you pay here for groceries. It's not a lot more. And the restaurants are upscale and expensive, but, the, but you get the best as well. Um, they were covert because I lived in Panama for a year, 
But always in the medical profession, for anything that I would do, my biggest fear would be, would it be a five-star quality experience with the technology very advanced? Would the doctors be of the excellence that I'm used to, of the high quality? And so uh, in the back of my mind, I guess I wondered, will it be of the nature that I've always known to be the top shelf type of doctors? And so, oh, I experienced better, better than America, cleaner, better, higher quality. Everything that I had fears of was the opposite. Uh, I, my experience was that they met all of my needs in the healing and the reason my, they met my goals to have my teeth, all the surgery and everything performed was of the highest level. So my fears were allayed because I didn't know what to expect. And then in the housing arena, I had a beautiful Altic natural environment and the ability to have the best food right in the home and the, the quality of the people that were um, here from all over the world was such an experience that um, I can't duplicate and it was just previously ordained, divinely appointed. So I, I can only say trust, have some faith and trust that if your gut tells you to do this, do it. As a health professional, and I've worked in Palm Beach and Worth Avenue, I've worked in uh, Connecticut at the best places. I've been trained around, uh, mostly in the U.S., but around the world. I can say that the most important some thing someone said to me, which I didn't know, was if you have a problem with your eye, go to the dentist. And I never thought of that. I never realized consciously the relationship of my teeth to my eyes. And then the dentist performed a minor surgery on my mouth, and he took out a small cyst that I didn't even know I had. And um, one of my very favorite uh, mentors, she is a very high-level health person, and she had had a root canal. And she, because of the root canal, had developed recently, and she's 30 years younger than me, she developed breast cancer. So I immediately realized the quest for my eyes and, and respiratory and ears and everything in my brain was going to be wrapped around my mouth. Who would have thunk? <laughs> would ever have thought that this would be your experience, that how important your oral teeth and your gums and your mouth are all related. To the toxicity in your mouth will affect your brain and your, your everything else, all your necessary uh, your awareness, your intellect, <laughs> your hearing, your respiratory, your breathing. So it all came about through uh, the journey, as you said, the journey of searching and, and, and people who I didn't even know. I don't know who said that to me about go to the dentist if you have an eye problem. Someone who is very aware and very experienced in the field that I'm in made me realize that you have to do other things than you would normally think. It's not an analytical answer. You don't intellectually say, well, I have a problem with my eye, so go to the eye doctor. No. If you have a problem with your eye, it's related to your other hygiene, anything from the neck up. And the first place you start would be the dentist. So the journey. It was the journey. When I was at 17, I was in an accident, and so I had caps, unfortunately, on my front upper and lower. But other than that, I have my own teeth. I mean, I'm at almost 70. I have all my own teeth except for the wisdom teeth that were extracted because they were loose and painful. But other than that, um, I do, yeah. Except for the one tooth that was tended to, and now we're going to um, remedy that with Dr. Vargas. It was an extraction of a tooth that was um, highly mercurized. It was almost all mercury, and I ignored it and I developed a cyst because I ignored my dental need and there was no way to save it. So I now have to um, choose between a bridge and an implant. We all have to choose our own path and what is best for our need. And I have full faith that Dr. Vargas will do the absolute best for me in, in getting me a tooth in that spot. And everything else is all my own teeth. I'm here because, because of my eye. I'm here because I found out that my dental needs were critical and they were developing um, 
I mean, your body talks. Your body talks. You have to listen to your body. It's all about, oh, what's the language of your body? But it's beyond language. It's what is your body telling you? You've got to listen. And I was experiencing pain, and I didn't know the pain and the infection. My cataract is an inflammation of the eye. I've spoken to some of the best doctors in the world, and they've said, your cataract is an inflammation. It's an infection of the eye. And so um, I realize now that the infection in my mouth was contributing highly to the infection of my cataract. And there is no infection to my knowledge or to anyone's knowledge. The doctor doesn't tell you that, the eye doctor. But um, there are ways to naturally heal my eye as well, but um, I just may have to do something different, unfortunately, to achieve my um, visual acuity that I'm going to need to move forward with my journey. Well, we just have to uh, say yes to health and yes to the right things and yes to the right doctors and yes to the people helping us and have the faith that they care and they are providing us with a service that if we don't incorporate or um, if we don't network through, then we've chosen not to be at our, our healthiest and the quality of our life will suffer. I don't want that, personally. I just want to share that trust what your body's saying and do the best for yourself by researching it yourself. Don't believe me or anyone else, but research it for yourself. Discover your own truth, because don't just eat what other people are saying. I think I had to find out for myself, not from only what my body said, but from others' experience that are, um, that are discovering and have researched it and have been through what I've been through. And you will find the answers that are um, going to be very much coincidentally what your body is telling you. You find out why your body is talking to you and it's telling you the truth. You'll find out the truth. That will set you free from all your worries when you've chosen to do what you must do and let yourself be healed. Let your body heal itself.